Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome to part 9 of my Wii Shop channel video series. In this part, I'm going to be going back into the Wii Shop channel um, and showing the user guide for Magnetica Twist. Um, I'm also going to be uh, using a secondary Nintendo Wii that I have to show what it looks like when you um, delete your Wii Shop channel account from a Nintendo Wii. But that's, I'm going to have to edit that in. Like, I'm going to have to edit. I'm going to have to, um, I'm just checking to make sure that all these say downloaded. Okay, good. So I'm going to be, um, also, at the end of the video, I'm actually, like, I'm going to have to edit in another recording for part 9. So technically it'll be two recordings from me, but one video for you. Uh, the other part being, um, like, the first part of this video will be the Magnetica Twist, um, user guide and or title operations guide and then the second part of the video will be showing uh, what happens when you delete a Wii Shop channel account since I have a secondary Nintendo Wii that uh, I don't actually use I never used for the Wii Shop channel or anything so it doesn't really matter so yeah I'm gonna delete it off that one and then edit it together into this as one coherent or cohesive video so, here is the Magnetic Twist stuff. I'm just going to be kind of scrolling it, so if you want to pause uh, when I stop scrolling it, then you can pause to read it. So, I'm going to start scrolling down now. Oh, oh, okay. This is really interesting, the um, synchronization stuff. 
if you want to go back and uh, read the stuff about standard mode, then you can. Well, okay, here. You can pause it now if you want to read this in particular. I find this really interesting that it talks about how the synchronization works. I'm going to scroll now. I like how the, um, maybe not, I was going to say I like how the Nintendo Switch um, controllers also uh, have uh, blinking LEDs that kind of show you how much power they have, but I guess they don't actually do that. They just kind of go left and right. They don't just blink like the Wii Remote does. Very interesting. Oh, and here's the contact information. Okay, here's the actual game information. Oh, this is neat. No, if a registered me is deleted from the me channel, you can transfer the old records to an another me.
So there's apparently also friendship lines linking these on the screen. Huh. It's interesting. The more that you play together, the larger these lines will become. If a me has more wins and losses with another me on the chart, the friendship line on its end will be wider. Oh, that's it, apparently. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that game had more than just multiplayer. I thought it was mostly just multiplayer. Okay, now I'm going to be showing what happens when you delete your Wii Shop channel account. So I'm going to be using my other Nintendo Wii for that. So I need to shut this down and be right back. I'm going to actually be stopping this video and then be recording a new one. Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and um, in this part, well I, I guess I'm continuing off from the second part of last time, uh, I'm going into the Wii menu on my Wii U. I already have a Wii remote paired. Um, let's do both, sure. Um, so I'm, oh, you can use the Wii Remote with the gamepad, that's nice. That's one of the, one of the nice things about the Wii U. I hope this will record okay. Oh. Wait, you shut down. Oh. 
Oh, the... The, um... Disk drive shut down. Okay, so we've got, like, the disk channel, me channel, Wii shop channel, Wii menu manual, the Wii U menu, and the Wii system transfer tool. So I'm going into the Wii shop channel. And here. Oh, welcome to the Wii Shop channel. In this channel, you'll find a variety of classic games for virtual console as well as new software created exclusively for the Wii console. You can redeem Wii points to download these software titles, or in some cases, you can obtain them for free. Happy shopping. For a few hours, anyway. Okay. So... This is the Wii Shop channel. This is what it looks like on when you're uh, doing it in the virtual Wii on the Wii U. I doubt it has any titles you've downloaded because this was from Amazon. Yeah, no transactions. So if I go into here, oh, there's actually two things. There was another thing. I don't remember what that was now. We download ticket that just shows the thing to enter a we download ticket. But if I remove the Wii Shop channel account, let's see what happens. Remove Wii Shop channel account. If you remove your Wii Shop channel account, all of your purchased Wii points will be lost and you will become unable to re-download any software or other data obtained through this channel. Any software, data, or services downloaded through this channel will be deleted, and software stored on an SD card will become unusable. And the reason why that is is because each uh, game that you download is... Um, wow, this looks really blurry on the gamepad because each title has a certificate with it or something like that. If you plan to download if you plan to transfer ownership of this console to someone else, you cannot transfer the Wii points you have purchased or the software, data, or services you have downloaded, so you will need to remove your Wii Shop channel account on this screen. Deleting your Wii Shop channel history will not affect your Wii U Nintendo eShop history. I wonder if it says that if you if it's in the virtual Wii mode, or if it's just there anyway, uh, and it doesn't change depending on if you're using virtual Wii mode or not. Select remove to remove your Wii Shop channel account. I'm going to be recording this on my phone as well, just in case it doesn't, something happens during recording. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna synchronize it between my phone and the my my phone and the actual recording. Yeah, that's kind of loud enough. Okay, now I'm gonna choose remove. Remove Wii Shop channel account. Oh, to remove your Wii Shop channel account, please enter the serial number printed on the side of your console. Note, once you remove your Wii Shop channel account, it cannot be recovered. I don't really plan to use the Wii Shop channel account on this console, so, um... Oh! The number you have entered is incorrect. Wait, where is... Oh, you know what? It does, it does know it's a Wii U. Wait, or does it? Is that a Nintendo Wii or a Wii U? I can't tell. I think that's a Wii U. You know, I'm actually uh, kind of too scared to do this, so I guess I won't. Sorry, but at least it, at least now we know what it does, what it shows. 
Actually, you know what? I will. Actually, wait. Hold on. Oh, there's only two things. Wait, we system transfer. This is interesting, actually. I never. I'm glad I checked this. So, we system transfer is what you can have on the Wii U. Well, I'm glad I checked this. We system transfer. Use this application to transfer save data, stored Wii points, and downloadable software such as WiiWare and Wii Virtual Console titles from your Wii to this Wii U. In order to move the data from your Wii, you will need an SD card uh, with over 512 megabytes of available memory. Please note that some software cannot be moved. Software that cannot be moved can be played only on the Source Wii console. Data moved to the Wii U console will be erased from the Source Wii console and cannot be restored. Wii points are redeemable only within the Wii Shop channel. The Source Wii must download the Wii U transfer tool application from the Wii Shop channel. To begin the data transfer, start Wii mode on the Wii U console by opening the Wii menu and then open the Wii system transfer application. So that is interesting. And then there's the Skyward Sword save data update channel. So there are only two things on there. So there are only two things on there, I guess. So I guess there's only two things on there. Because you can't download anything else. Sorry, I'm just too nervous to actually delete the thing because I don't want anything bad to happen. I would do it on my other um, secondary Nintendo Wii, but I don't want that to, um, I don't want that console to get bricked if I enable um, Wii Connect 24. Yeah, anyway, under here, it, you can't actually change anything. You can't change any settings in the virtual Wii. So, um... I hope this is still stays synchronized. Oh, so it restarts in... Wii U mode, apparently. Oh. After turning the power on, when the Wii U logo appears... Oh, in the center of the screen, hold down B on the Wii U gamepad. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, you can do what? Okay, I'm gonna have to check that. And see what it means. But, um, for now, though... Um... I guess... Oh, wrong thing. You know, I'm actually going to go back into the Wii mode and then show whoops. What happens when you use the Skyward Sword save data update channel if you don't have any Skyward Sword save data. But this should only be a few minutes yet. I mean, you don't need Skyward Sword update channel if you don't have um I mean, if you're if you have the updated version of the disc, you don't need the Skyward Sword update save data update channel and there's also um we we you or there's a uh, virtual console we virtual console on the Wii U and I assume that version there is my Wii remote Good. Here we go. Um, I assume with the virtual Wii Virtual Console, the Wii U 
Virtual Console f with Nintendo Wii software. Um, I assume that that one has Skyward Sword patched to not cause the issue. There is no lit the lit there is no The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword save data in Wii system memory. You will leave this channel and return to the Wii menu. It sounds mean, actually. Where is it? Oh, that's really cool. You can't... I'm rotating my Wii remote, but it's not making the hand change. And I like how it went forward, like, um, sometimes when... People make a mouse click animation. It kind of does that. So I'm going to go back to the Wii U mode. So, um, I guess that's about it. I'm actually getting really tired now. I've been recording quite a while today. I'm going to hold on the, the start thing with the Wii U logo here and the gamepad. It, it should go into the... Oh yeah, it does go directly to the Wii menu. That is really interesting. I never knew that feature existed. It's nice that there's like a, a feature or a way to reboot the Nintendo Wii. Um, the virtual Wii mode. So actually, if we go under here... We message board and look at today's play history. Let's we'll see, it shows We Shop Channel, or yeah, We Shop Channel for seven minutes, We Shop Channel for one minute, Save Data Update. It doesn't say Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Save Data Update Channel, one minute, and then Total Play Time, nine minutes. So we can go back, go here calendar actually this calendar down here it shows all the days that there are so you can press minus and plus to move between them Let's see then I'm just gonna go back to the Wii U mode it took me a lot of video recording today to um to get all this stuff done I mean, I, I had been recording these... Wow, there's no time and date on the... I'm actually really surprised that there's no time and date on the Wii U home menu. Wait, no. In here. Should show up. Yeah, it does show up in when you press the home button. It's good to see that my TV is um seems to be working a little bit better when I bring up the home menu. But yeah, that's really strange that it doesn't show it unless you go into here huh wait it says it's oh daylight savings time that's right the actual time is 11:26 p.m. but this shows 12:28 a.m. i'm going to miss the wee shop channel um You know, it took me a really uh, long time to actually get all these videos recorded. I started recording them on um, January 20th, and for several days I would just do like one video a night, but today I was like, I need to get several video, I need to get several videos done today. It's still 11.27 p.m. right where I am today before the Wii Shop channel shut down and I think I might have gotten it I hope so I'm sorry I didn't delete my Wii Shop channel account but I'm just kind of too scared to do that in reality the Wii U gamepad has an infrared thing can I point it at it the Wii remote can I point the Wii remote at the Wii U gamepad Nope, guess not. So yeah, I had been like, for most of the days leading up to recording tons of videos today, um, I mean like, for most of the days that I would record like one 
really long video uh, once a night. Um, I had been like, I would wake up, do most of my stuff, play Breath of the Wild for several hours to like calm myself so and just get red, get myself all ready to actually record the videos. And then like in the meantime, I would um, like discuss different topics and a forum that I'm on and then and then by like 11:30 or so I would be like ready to go and ready to record and then I would get one video done and a few videos I noticed that I was kind of sleep deprived so I was kind of funny but that's okay that makes them better so I am actually going to really miss the Wii Shop channel. I'm going to probably miss it a lot more than the Nintendo DSi Shop since on the Wii Shop channel I spent a lot more time using it than I did on the DSi Shop. I mean, well the DSi Shop I would just like browse it occasionally or I would just spend time browsing it when I was bored, but on the Wii Shop channel I actually bought quite a few games. And that's how I own a copy of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 64. And um, for several years how I owned Super Mario World. I also you I also remember you uh, buying my uh, Wii Shop channel card um, that I used to purchase my Wii Points card that I used to uh, purchase Super Mario World. So that kind of has uh, memories attached to it as well. I, I remember buying that at GameStop in like 2013 or so or whenever it says that I bought it in several videos ago. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I have that card anymore. If I, if I do, I will show it on screen, but I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I probably threw it away or something since back then it, I didn't know that it would be shut down that I would be doing this video today it was a long time ago but yeah I'm going to miss the Wii Shop channel because I had a lot of memories attached to it I still have a lot of memories attached to it probably more than the DSi Shop because the Wii Shop channel just has amazing music and like it's been referenced in Super Paper Mario and well one good thing about or one um one good thing is that uh the music for the Wii Shop channel is still in Super Smash Bros. So that's nice. And there's even a remix too, but it's just not the same without the Wii Shop channel experience. So I guess that's the end of this video series. I hope I really hope that there's nothing I missed. Sadly, I can't I couldn't add any points. That would make this video series like way more complete. So um thank you for watching this video series. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the the look at what the Wii Shop channel was back before it was closed. So, um, goodbye for now.